The air is filled with the smell of fish guts. Your catch appears generous. Your nets overflow with silver stock. Spirit of a Drenger. I am a Drenger, too. In fishmonger slacks. Is this your way of hiding? Or protecting those around you? My life has had many chapters. Ragnar Lothbrok himself started as a farmer, you know. He often envied my choice. You rode with the great army of Ragnar? I did. And it was here in England that I saw a land so fertile, you could spit and food would grow. Water steaming with fish. I met a Saxon lady, Athelswick, and we have made a fine life for ourselves. The best clams in all of East Anglia. But now I must show my son the way of the Drenger. How to die with honor. I respect your desire for an honorable death. I want my son to watch. He should have the final word when I pass. He will not see me die on a bed, coughing like a crow. I accept your fight. We will show your boy how Drenger do their bidding. Do you hear this, son? Today you will see the color of the blood that made you. The color of courage and honor above all. Any weapon will do! No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! Okay, so they, they were some quick failed attempts that I had. This was quite a long stream. A couple hours. And halfway through the stream, I encountered this guy. Now, after the first Drangir, I realized... He's possible. I am like 70 levels under power level in this fight. Once I found this combo, it was very easy. So as you can see, I just kind of did it there. If you have the leap ability and leap into them, then they get stunned long enough to do a flurry with your axes. And now the flurry with your axes generates enough adrenaline to do another jump. So you can just spam that. Uh... You've got to shoot down the weak points first, though. You don't have to, really. I guess you could do it without it, but obviously it makes it a little bit easier in the long run. Just in case you fail on one of the jumps or something and run out of adrenaline. So I had to swap bows there because I ran out of ammo, but as you can see, look, you jump at them, you do a flurry, and then if you jump again, you're ready to do another flurry. You, you'll see it a lot better right towards the end of the fight after I hit the weak points. I've got to say, this is one of the hard. well, this is the hardest boss I've faced so far. Well, that's probably just because I'm so underleveled. It was a lot of fun trying to take him down. So there we go, we get the stun attack in there. And now comes the fun. Where? Flurry? Jump. Flurry? Jump. See, it's so cheesable. I don't know how many other bosses this will work, and I think this works on this guy because he doesn't have a shield. If he has a shield, I think he can block the flurry halfway through. But because he doesn't have one, he's stunned long enough to do another flurry. And the jump. And there we go. Fight over. Here's some words from him. I have reached, I have reached the glory gate. Think of me, my boy. My dear love, now, you know. Father, I, I understand. I see the glory you spoke of. Go now to Valhalla. 